Hi, I'm Nick from Mountain Trail RV and this is the Alex V 5.7. It's a pure off-road hybrid caravan and I'm about to show you through it. The Alex V 5.7 has a full outdoor kitchen and this is how it works. At the front, we have our 95 litre refrigerator that slides out, locks in position. You can have this side as a fridge or a freezer, any way you like. You just set the temperature on each one. It could be anywhere from negative 18 to whatever temp you like. Slide that back in. Above the top, we have controls for our outdoor entertainment system. Dual USBs on both sides as well. Then over here, we have our pantry. Stainless steel fascias, aluminium to keep the weight down, 300 mil deep for wine bottles, cereal boxes, and then up the top, we have another slide out drawer as well. In this compartment over here, we have our slide out kitchen. This kitchen is completely engineered, designed, and built in house at Mountain Trail RV. Slides out on roller bearings, latches in position, swings around. Flip over, food preparation benches, both sides. Then we have a sink with hot and cold water, a drawer, a three burner stove, and another drawer here as well. On the outside of the Alex E 5.7, we have this electrical panel right here. And we'll go over what this is. This is Red Vision by Red Arc. It's a control screen. It has different buttons on here that we can press to operate different parts of the van. You'll notice each picture here is a light bulb. And inside the light bulb, it says I, so that's your internal lights. O is outside lights. B is boot locker lights. A is ambient lighting. This is the 12 volt, which is all the USBs throughout the van. There's various inside and out stereo, we scroll down again, water pump, diesel water heater and air heater, refrigerator and inverter, which is 3000 watt in the Alex V 5.7. In addition to control, it also gives you information. So over here, we can see we're at 100%, we're fully charged. There's a tick there to say that we're charging. We're green, and you can see here there's three pictures. One's of a vehicle, which is your DC input. It can charge at 30 amps DC while you're driving down the road via an Anderson socket. We have solar, which is getting charged right now, and a picture of a power point, which is 240 volt AC. We can see over here, we have our water tanks. Tank one, tank two, and gray water. 50%, 100%, and the gray water, the G is empty. Now, if we scroll over here, we can see what's happening with the charge. We can already see before we were charging via solar, press this button, and we can see we have 6.4 amps of solar going in. We're consuming 2.4 going for the light bulb and the balance is going into the batteries. As the batteries are 100% right now, it's just topping up. Over here, we have USBs. So dual USB, dual USB, an auxiliary up here, another auxiliary here. If you want to bring your TV outside, you can and plug it into here. This is a power point. Now this power point is connected to the inverter, the 3000 watt inverter. And what that does is it converts 12 volt power from the lithium batteries into 240. So you can plug coffee machines into here, etc. Over here, we have our light switch for outside. And then we can change the lighting from white to orange by pressing this. And this button here is our electric awning. So it's an electric open and close electric awning. One of the features I really love about the Alex V 5.7 is this kitchen. How it's tucked into the body because when you bring the awning out it comes out 2.5 meters and gives you plenty of room over here to sit down and the kitchen is right in the center of the awning. When it comes to the chassis and suspension, that is all manufactured in-house at Mountain Trail. Designed by our engineers, laser cut, welded up and hot dip galvanised. Our suspension is a trailing arm with dual shock and electronic air suspension. Let's check out the inside of the Alex V 5.7. So we have this door here. This is actually a motorhome door, which is different from a caravan door. What this door does is you can split it right here and open up this part with a magnetic catch and then you've got maximum ventilation through here with security mesh as well. So this door will open it back up to here, latch in position, 
swing to there, open up the step, and let's head inside. As soon as you walk in to the Alex V 5.7, you can see the attention to detail immediately. This one's equipped with composite stone bench tops, which is an option, but what makes us really different is the way that we construct. So all of the overhead cabinets, all the cabinets in the entire van are 100% laser cut right at our factory and CNC pressed. So what we end up with is a very strong structure that's lighter and doesn't fatigue in corrugations. All of our overhead cabinets are manufactured in-house. We have our microwave and this is the aluminium material we're talking about. This whole entire assembly here only weighs 10 kilos. Our hinges are actually bolted into a nut insert, not screwed in like normal joinery, so they're stronger and they don't fatigue. And down here we have our full kitchen. We've got a large sink with hot and cold water, diesel powered as well. And then down the bottom here, we've got more storage under the sink. Now, down here, we have our electronic e-water control. And what this does is it switches the water tanks over. So if you wanna change tanks, we just press this one on, or the second one on, or whichever configuration we like. We can even take water from an external water source. Our drawers, two banks of drawers, food bowl. These drawers are actually bolted in, so once again, not screwed in, and that's because of the aluminium construction. So six drawers. We have our windows over here. Now these windows do have blinds. So blind, mesh, you can open it, and then we can open up our windows for cross ventilation. At the rear of the Alex V 5.7, we've got a full bank of storage. So up here, we have hanging both sides, a bank of three drawers. We have lower storage down here. Now this is actually lockable. So any precious items can be put in here and locked up. You can also put shoes in there as well. We have a refrigerator, internal. Now remember, we have our external 95 litre refrigerator plus an 85 litre inside as well. And then here, this one's equipped with the optional washing machine, two kilo. And then we have overhead storage up here. All of this construction, once again, is laser cut aluminium. At the back of the van, we have our ensuite. The ensuite's made from a one piece fiberglass mold. It features a diesel powered shower, a toilet, a basin, a mirror, and overhead storage. But this shower mold is exceptionally large, giving you an area to stand when you're not standing over the toilet. What I really like about the Alex V 5.7 is the face-to-face -face seating. This table also lowers, and this converts to a bed if you need it. Over here, we have our Red Vision control screen, exactly the same as what's outside, two USB charging points, and a stereo. At the front of the van, we've got our queen-size bed. Now, this is a full queen-size mattress, exactly what you would have at home. And underneath the mattress, we have lift up storage for extra items like beach towels, sheets, pillows, cushions, jackets, that kind of thing. We also have overhead storage lockers, windows on both sides, a front window, USB charging points, and bed reading lamps. It's a beautiful van, you can lie in bed. The TV can also point at you while you're in bed, or you can swivel the TV around to the face-to-face -face seating. On the driver's side of the 5.7, we have our outdoor shower, hot and cold. We have a cassette. We have our body protection system as well. So this is a stainless steel protection that protects the body for off-road damage. We have a water tank here, 240 volt input here, another water tank here. If you're in a caravan park, you can connect water straight into here and it will bypass the water tanks and provide water from the mains pressure. We have a storage compartment here with our diesel hot water service inside of it. So if you have a look here, this is an instantaneous diesel powered hot water service, very efficient. We have at the middle compartment, more storage, huge storage in here, fully lined. And then at the front, we have another storage compartment with an overhead shelf for long things like fishing rods and poles. At the front of the 5.7, we have our integrated storage and stone deflection. This is rubberized lining that deflects stones, and we've been doing that for 10 years, and it's all sprayed in-house out of a special Raptor lining. 
In the middle, we have a sealed storage compartment and you'll see this plate here. Behind that is a filter. All of our vans are pressurized so no dust will come in. There's an onboard pump and a filter here and it pressurizes the van and pumps 300 cubic liters of air per minute into the van to ensure no dust can get in. On this side, we have our diesel for hot water service, 12 kilo gas bottle holder, a bayonet for external barbecue as well. And we have storage over here for jerry cans to carry water, fuel or diesel. At the front of the A-frame, we have our multi-fit adapter plate. This allows us to bolt options onto this, such as a bike carrier, an outboard motor bracket, and even a barbecue. This is our trail safe breakaway brake controller, and at the very front, a Hitchmaster D035 off-road coupling. This is an absolute high quality van without any expense spared. Even the walls are European XPS composite panel. It's the best insulation you'll ever find in a van. It is stronger and it's lighter, and it's CNC router cut right at our factory as one piece. If you are looking for an off-road caravan, this has so many features, there's even more I haven't even mentioned. Check out our website at Mountain Trail RV, and thanks for watching.